hello you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl patrice i'm back with another video if you're a returning subscriber welcome and if you're new to my channel thank you for clicking on this video so in this video i'm going to be giving you guys like a couple business tips on how you can start your own little small business like how i did and like how a lot of people on here is doing so if you're interested in seeing this video and learning some tips just keep on watching okay you guys so i had to research everything myself honestly nothing was handed to me like i look i research i love youtube so i always used to watch youtube and stuff like that and shout out to my boo for my necklace like this k be dripping like i was saying i didn't get like any help i mean i got a little help because i asked some friends of mine and stuff like that that's like more into that stuff than i was at the time so i got information from them i did a lot of research i watched a lot of youtube videos i was online a lot google was my best friend and youtube was my best friend i'm telling y'all i researched a lot of different things different products so i could find the one that works for my business so basically i just wanted to give you guys some ideas some tips you know on how you can possibly start your own little business so i have my book you got that's number one like put that on number one of your list you need a book you gotta write down your stuff your ideas for your business and all that good stuff so i wrote down everything that i'm going to talk about in this video so i won't get off track and stuff like that because sometimes i just go all over the place and just be talking about irrelevant stuff so i wrote everything down so i know what i'm talking about and get y'all the proper info and so i won't be all over the place so what do you need to start your own business online or whatever it could be a pickup whatever this is just tips you need to start your own business. It don't have to be personal nails. It don't have to be lip gloss. It's just in general, okay? So number one, you gotta come up with a plan about your business, logo, etc. So most definitely you gotta come up with a business plan. Like what's your business gonna be about? Um, policy shipping policies um return policies if you're gonna have that all that good stuff get that in order i know i use shopify i'm gonna make another video about shopify but i started with big cartel and i did not like it it was working okay for a while but then my payment just started messing up and it was just a whole bunch of issues and i didn't feel like going through that like i need to get paid for my orders i started using shopify and it's amazing you guys shopify is for me it's way better than big cartel so if you're looking to start a business and you want to go on big cartel is cheaper so you could definitely start with big cartel because it's like i think ten dollars a month and shopify is thirty dollars a month if i'm not mistaken but i use shopify so it actually have like a pamphlet of policies business like your policy shipping policies um return policies and stuff like that you can go in there and change it up if you want to but they have a pamphlet ready for you and everything once you um subscribe to their website or whatever so number one come up with your business plan your idea come up with your logos colors and all that good stuff get all that in your mind get it formulated and you know just start coming up with how you want your business to look and stuff like Next, that we have start to slowly buy business supplies so you can slowly like for me i slowly bought my stuff like i didn't rush like every like money i'll get from um somebody purchasing something i like save it and put it back into my business and get the stuff that i need that's where i'm at right now so like I, I didn't just like jump and boom got all the stuff at once like i slowly added things to my business like you don't have to rush everything is a process so just trust the process so yeah um slowly buy stuff you need for your business I have a, a list of like just the basics that you need just to start out. I have a printer, like a label printer. You definitely need that. So I used to go to the post office to ship out my packages, but it's like 360 and I can ship it at home for about two bucks. So it definitely save you some money. But if you don't have the money right now, all you have to do is like charge your customers a shipping and just go to the post office and pay 
that way because that's what I was doing. I didn't charge them for shipping. I took it out of their purchase, but that's what I did until I got my label maker. So definitely try to invest in that and you can definitely find a good one. I got mine on Amazon for like about a hundred bucks or under. If you're really interested, I can look. But matter of fact, I have my phone right here so I can definitely pull it up. Oh, I'm sorry. It was actually $179, you guys. This is the label printer that I have, but it's still not that bad for it, honestly. So I made a mistake in my video when I said it was uh, under 100 bucks. It's under $200, so that's still good. And it's a great printer. So you definitely need your label printer. Um, you can either get that or you can get a printer which is a cheaper option you could just print your labels and use tape to like stick it on your package next you're gonna need um your planner or a notebook you know just to brainstorm some ideas like i said before you also need mailers poly mailers or regular bubble mailers i use both dependent on how many items my customer order i will use either or Poly mailers is actually good for if you're like trying to start like clothing business and stuff like that. But like if you want to do lashes, you know, lip gloss, I'll say use bu use the bubble mailer because it's more like protecting your products because it got that bubble stuff on the inside. You know what I'm saying? The poly mailer don't have that. Packaging products like confetti. Um, I use these little holographic baggies for my press on nails. Um, you could get these um, organza bag. They have them in tons of different colors. Just whatever work for your business boxes, whatever you need, just make sure you have your stuff. And like I said, you don't have to grab all this stuff at once, depending on how your business is growing and what you need. Just gradually add stuff onto your business. You know what I'm saying? To make it easier on yourself, you know what I'm saying? So next, before you like even try to sell anything or anything like that, think about if you wanna um, have a website or anything like that. So definitely add that to your first priority. It's coming up with the website along with the logo and stuff like that, number one. Come up with your website and stuff like that. If you don't know what you're doing, there's a lot of people out here that will create one for you. You can just pay them. Or I created mine myself. It was pretty self-explanatory. Self I needed a little bit of help, but it was pretty much self-explanatory for the most part for Shopify. So yeah, y'all could definitely have somebody make y'all a website if y'all want, you know what I'm saying? It's up to you. Get your business cards. You want thank you cards, you know, promo cards, like say, you know, coupons and stuff like that, or PR. Say you have someone that, you know, that, um, oh my goodness, promote your business. You know what I'm saying? You can send them PR packages and stuff like that with coupons, you know, stuff like that. So that's if you want to do that's if you want to do that. You don't have to. I suggest not doing that when you're starting out. But as your business is burning and it's growing, you can do that to get more exposure because you can choose someone with like, say, a makeup artist if you're doing lashes and you can choose choose her as your promo and she can do a look or something where your lashes, boom, you got like 10, 10, um, Oh my god you got 10 customers because they love those lashes so you can do that as well to grow and expand your business i'll suggest you get some storage space like i have these little white containers in the back i got those from amazon i also got that from amazon the black one right there as well all those store my lip glosses and ship, shipping products storage products storing products and all that extra stuff so definitely get you some storage space if you need it see what i'm saying because it definitely helps organize your business okay you guys so next you want to slowly market yourself slowly market your business instagram is a great pl platform for that they have like these little ads that you can purchase and know like um show your products for like say three days two days depending on how you want it you can pick you can choose how much money you want to spend the higher you spend the more reaction you get on your products so you could definitely use that use facebook to your advantage youtube y'all like do anything you can to promote your business any kind of social media is big 
it's forever going to be big at this point y'all it's not going anywhere so use it to your advantage for your business and stuff like that promote yourself get yourself out there try to post at least three times a week if not every day you know just to keep up with your business you want people to keep interacting you don't want to not post anything on your business page for like and i'm guilty of this so you don't want to not post for anything for like a month or three weeks like you want people to keep remembering your name remembering your brand you want it to keep popping up on their timeline you know what i'm saying so they won't forget they'll eventually be like you know what let me click on this and see what this girl got going on you know what i'm saying you just want to keep your business streaming and going and going so it could keep growing promote 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 y'all promote that's all i'm gonna say promote okay conduct yourself as a business person like i'm guilty of this as well i do promote a lot on my facebook page and you know sometimes personal mix with your business so you just gotta like think about it for a second like I'm a business person. I don't want such and such things on my page. Like potential clients might click on your page and see that and be like, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just think about stuff like that. I mean, that's your personal page. At the end of the day, you have a business page, but you just don't want to give anybody a reason to say anything, y'all, because they be looking for a reason, y'all. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. That's basically everything. I hope I helped you guys some way, some sort, you know, figure out and brainstorm some ideas for your new business that you want to start. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave me some comments down below on new ideas that you want for my videos. And I'll see you guys next time.